long bones are one of the five different types of bones that are found inside our body and they contain long curved shafts that basically give the bone its strength. Now long bones are found in the fingers and the toes as well as in the arms and legs. Now long bones can be divided into three different regions. We have the upper region known as the epiphysis, we have the middle portion known as our diaphysis, and what connects our epiphysis to our diaphysis is a section known as our metaphysis and these two sections are also found on the bottom of the bone so we have the epiphysis on the bottom most and the top most we have the middle section the shaft that's our diaphysis and we have the metaphysis that connects our epiphysis to our diaphysis so let's discuss the individual components of the structure of our long bones and let's begin with this purple section found on this side as well as on this side which is not shown so this is known as our articular cartilage so articular simply means that's the connecting point between the bone and our joint and we'll discuss what the joint is and what types of joints we have in our body in a future lecture so basically this uh, this consists of the of a type of cartilage known as the hyaline cartilage where the hyaline simply means it's transparent and this hyaline cartilage connects our bone to our joint. Now the next portion we're going to discuss is our epiphysis and the epiphysis contains a special type of bone structure known as our spongy bone also known as the cancellous bone as well as our trabecular bone and it's called trabecular because the structure resembles a honeycomb it resembles a sponge now inside the spongy bone which is not dense by the way so that means it's relatively light and flexible inside the spongy bone we have a specialized region known as the red bone marrow and the red bone marrow is where we basically produce our red blood cells as well as our white blood cells and the process by which we produce these blood cells is known as hematopoiesis so hematopoiesis takes place in the red bone marrow of our spongy bone inside the epiphysis of our bone now let's move on to our metaphysis inside the metaphysis we have a special region known as our epiphyseal plate now the epiphyseal plate is basically the region where in children as well as young adults that's where our bone grows and elongates and basically increases in length so this plate is found in our metaphysis section of our long bone now once our organism once our human basically becomes a, a, a full adult when they reach the age of 25 this plate essentially stops growing and the epiphyseal plate turns into our epiphyseal line that means it stops growing now let's move on to this long section that actually consists of our curved shaft this is known as our diaphysis so the long shaft region of the bone is called our diaphysis and this contains a section known as our medullary cavity also known as the marrow cavity and this is basically the innermost portion of our cell now this small layer that basically lines the the innermost portion is our endosteum the endosteum is basically a covering of the innermost portion of the bone now right next to our medullary cavity we have this white portion shown by this section here that basically goes around the bone in both directions this is known as our compact bone and the compact bone is also known as the cortical bone this is a very dense and a very heavy portion of the bone the compact bone basically contains uh, the yellow bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow is responsible for actually storing the adipose tissue the adipose tissue or the cell contains the cells that store our fat in the form of triglycerides 
Now, this compact bone also is responsible for giving our bone strength, for giving our bone tensile strength as well as our compressive strength. And it's our compact bone that consists of the individual units known as osteons that we spoke about previously. So, the long shaft region, the bone is called our diaphysis. This contains our medullary cavity, also known as the marrow cavity, which is the innermost part of the bone. This is this section here. Now, the lining of the inner portion of the bone is known as our endosteum while our outermost lining of the cell, so the membraneous fibrous covering found outside the entire bone is known as our uh, periosteum. Now the periosteum basically is involved in bone healing and bone growth and that basically means inside the periosteum we have these cells that are capable of differentiating into osteoblasts where osteoblasts are the cells that are involved in bone growth as well as bone healing. Now the periosteum covers the bone so it is also involved in a protective function. It protects our bone and it also serves as the attachment points for tendons that connect muscles to our bones. So this is the structure of our long bones.